Hey everybody, my name is Kevy, and today I'm going to be releasing my patched version of NV Flash that gets around the board ID mismatch error. So if you're like me and you're trying to take an Asus TUF 4090 OC edition and turn it into a Strix with 1000 watts of power, you'll quickly find out that the NV Flash utility actually doesn't let you do this. Despite the fact that the TUF is almost the exact same PCB, it even has the same water block and all, uh, the NV Flash utility still sees it as a different GPU, naturally, because, I mean, it is different. Um, and they aren't going to take a chance on, you know, what the end user can flash. So unfortunately, when you try to flash the XOC BIOS, as I'll show you now, uh, it will tease you, it'll make you think, oh, it's gonna work, and I'm gonna override it. You know, it allows you to do this, um, but then you're gonna get another error. Um, board ID mismatch. Uh, this makes sense. Of course, it's not the same board. Um, but, you know, I'm into extreme overclocking and I want a thousand watts and I'm willing to take that risk. So if you are too, you can use this tool. So let's go ahead and stop the stress test. And um, I also want to point out the voltage here. So this is 1.07 volts on a 4090, that's the maximum. And the more recent 4090s had this limitation. The original launch edition ones had 1.1 volts. At some point, something changed. Uh, but you're gonna notice something interesting. That's actually gonna go back after I flash this BIOS. So let's go ahead and use my custom version and patch the XOC BIOS. So what it's doing there is resetting the graphics driver so that it can modify the VBIOS without, you know, crashing something. So we're going to type in yes, all uppercase. This is going to allow the override of the PCI subsystem ID. Uh, and then it's also going to complain about the board ID again. But this time we have a bypass that I've implemented. So we're going to type uppercase yes again. And now finally we end up at the message that allows us to actually update the firmware. We press yes. We'll sit here and wait for a moment. Um, yeah, so that'll take about 20 seconds. Uh, in the meantime, we'll check out the setup. So we've got a 13900KS CPU, a 4090, uh, got some 8200 DDR5 running at about 8800 right now. Uh, all hooked up into an X560M radiator sitting right above my air conditioner. <laughs> So that loop is usually about seven or eight Celsius, but right now I don't have the air conditioning running and I don't really care about low temps, so it's a little higher than normal. Uh, let's go ahead and reboot and see if the flash was truly successful. We're gonna actually put it through another stress test and we're gonna make sure that the wire view is now displaying a thousand watts so that you can see for your very own eyes that this is not a trick, this actually works. Come in, come in, come in. Now I can do a bunch of fancy video editing and like screen capture and all that, but I wanted to have one single edit. So there's no trickery going on. You can see exactly what happens from start to finish. Um, so now we've rebooted. The display adapter is going to reset. It's gonna reinstall itself because this is a new graphics card. It hasn't seen before. It now thinks this is a Strix. Uh, and we are going to open up Precision X1. We're going to load up our profile again to overclock the GPU and get the maximum power draw. Um, and as you'll notice, like I said, 1.1 volts. So now we actually have a little bit of extra voltage. And I found this actually increased my stability just slightly at the upper ranges. So now we are going to open up OCCT. And we're gonna run that stress test one more time and see if we can actually pull a thousand watts out of this GPU. All right, excellent. So it's reporting 860, 880 in OCCT. And our wire view is showing over 900 watts, about 910, excellent. That is spicy, just like that. We've turned this card from 600 watts into 1,000 watts, but it is dangerous. There's no thermal protection. You, you just shouldn't do this unless you really know what you're doing or you just 
really want to experiment and have the money to do so. So thanks guys. Uh, before we go, I want to try one more thing. We are going to run, um, we're going to run Cinebench and we're going to max out the CPU at the same time and put maximum stress on our power supply and see, see what we got. So we've got a thousand watts going into the GPU. How much do we have going into the CPU? 400, 880. Yep, that sounds about right. That PSU is working. Anyways, thanks so much guys. Um, you can get the uh, release on GitHub, not from State Farm slash NV Flash, uh, and you can hit me up, Kefinator, on Discord. I'm on the Overclock and PC Master Race Discords. See y'all. Bye.